Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my 2024 physical TBR. These around me are all the books that I currently have in my physical TBR. It only takes about two shelves on my bookshelf because I don't let myself buy a lot of books. This is probably the biggest, no, this is the biggest my physical TBR has ever been. Um, after I show you guys everything on my TBR, I'm then going to share with you guys my 2024 reading goals. So yeah, let's get into the video. Let's start with the stuff that's been on my TBR for the longest. So, one thing I really want to get done. Narnia. I am that much through it. And it's like got all the Chronicles of Narnia in here. And this has been on my shelf since I was probably in middle school, maybe even younger. So I really want to get to this this year. But that's the first book on my physical TBR. Then we also have... Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I I don't like poetry, but I really want to, you know, broaden my mind and whatnot. So I want to try and really read a few of these this year, but just have that. Okay, now I have If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I don't know much about this other than that it's really sad and depressing. So that's exciting. Probably going to read this around Valentine's Day so I can feel even lonelier than I already am. Um, then I have A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I've wanted to read this for so long, so I'm really excited to get to it. I think this one's also supposed to be sad. You know, I've heard people say they cry when reading this. So, another book I'm going to read around Valentine's Day. <laughs> then I have Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I'm currently reading this series. Um, I'm waiting to read this one until I can get the third one in paperback, but I'm so excited to read this book. I'm... Really, I didn't like the Infernal Devices series, but this is the Last Hour series, and it's getting really good, so I'm really excited to read this. Something that <laughs> I bought recently is Never by Jessa Hastings, and I was really excited to read this until I just found out, like, literally last night and this morning, that there's a lot of hate around this book. Um, so now I'm kind of scared to read it, but oh well. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Then I also have The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I don't know a lot about this series. I know that it's very well loved and it's called the Dreamland Billionaire series and I'm really really excited to read it so that's all I know about that. And I have this book I have been wanting to read since I got it since I read the Twilight series and that's Crave because it just reminds me of Twilight because like the look and I think it's also about vampires so I'm so excited to read this. I finally got it. I got it for Christmas so what's this about? This girl goes to an academy where she's a mortal among gods or monsters. Sounds interesting. Then I also have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This book is so hyped up, so I'm really excited to see if it lives up to the hype. I think it's like they write letters back and forth. Yeah, she writes her brother letters, but they're not going to her brother. They're landing in someone else's hands. And he's like pretending to be her brother. So they're writing letters. So I'm really interested to see how that goes. Next I have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But I've been wanting to read this for so long. It's been, I only read like maybe two or three historical fictions. And I really, really like them. So I'm really excited to read this and see what I think about it. I've heard it's really good. I don't know what it's about. Like, I'm being 100% honest. I have no idea. Oh, okay. She finds an object in the snow at her brother's funeral. I guess she steals books. <laughs> I don't know. Then we have The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I'm so excited to read this. It's like, she's the manager I'm pretty sure or like in the football organization and he's one of the players and he like goes to like beg her to like come back to her job or whatever so I'm really excited to read this I really wanted the OG football cover but I didn't get it because they don't have it anymore but there's that did I even say the name of this is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata okay Next I have Wildfire by Hannah Grace. This is the second book in the Icebreaker series and this 
This is about the one of the friends in the icebreaker book, Russ and a girl and they like have a one night stand and then they don't plan on seeing each other again but then they see each other at a summer camp and that's all I know about it. But I'm currently reading Icebreaker so I'm excited to see what I think about this. I think a lot of people have said it's better than Icebreaker so we'll see. Now I have a few classics. I have Wither Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. Um, I don't really know much about this. I know that a lot of people love it especially the movie. I was going to read it in the fall time, but I didn't get to it, so maybe this fall. I don't know. Then one I'm really, really excited for is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I don't even know what it's about. I just know I want to read it because it's, like, so hyped up. And I remember the only reason I wanted to read this was because when I was in middle school, I watched Pretty Little Liars and Allison read it, was reading it, and when she was talking to Emily, and I was like, ooh, I want to read that book. So I finally got it. I have not read it yet. I feel like it's going to take a lot of brain power to read this but those are my classics that I have now on to the last few books these are series that I have I have the entire chestnut spring series um yes I know the books don't match it bothers me it probably is more than it bothers you but yeah um I just know it's like a bunch of cowboy small town romances and it like I guess it's like is it a family or like friend group or something that it follows but I'm so excited to read this series. I cannot wait to get to it. And finally, I have the Caraval Trilogy. I don't know much about these. I know it's like a game and people say it's like really like Alice in Wonderland vibes, which I'm, I don't know, I'm not a fan of that. But I guess we'll see if I like it. I only want to read it because I want to read the Once Upon a Broken Heart Trilogy and you have to read this one. They say it's better to read this one first. So I'm going to read it. Let's see if I like it. I don't know. Those are all the books on my physical TBR, but I do want to include that I do plan on rereading some books this year. And one of the things I want to reread is the Twilight series, which is on my top shelf, since I finally now have all of the books. And I also really want to reread Hunger Games because this is going to be really weird. But in middle school, when I read these books, my library only had Mockingjay. And I, had, I knew these movies backwards and forwards, okay? I was obsessed with Hunger Games. I used to play Catching Fire in my mind when I went to bed because that's how well I knew it. I could play it scene by scene. But they only had Mockingjay, so I checked out Mockingjay. Then I checked out Catching Fire, and then I read The Hunger Games. So I read them backwards. <laughs> so I'd really like to read them forwards um, and just be in that world again. I love those books so much, and I love the Twilight books, so I really want to reread those. But yeah, those are all the books on my physical TBR for this year. I am definitely on a book buying ban until my birthday in April. So let's see how much I can get done. Now let's talk about my reading goals for 2024. My first reading goal is to read everything that I just put in this video. Like I want to read all of these books by the end of the year, including the big Edgar Allan Poe, Narnia. I don't know about the Edgar Allan Poe, but definitely the Narnia. Um, so I want to read all these books. I want to read a total of 50 books. So let me see how many is on this. I think there's like 21 or 22 books here, but that does not include however many is in Narnia because I really don't know how many books I have left in that. So I'm going to say roughly 30. Um, so obviously I'll have to buy some more books. <laughs> and that is not counting the rereads either. So I don't know. We'll see. But I do want to read 50 books this year. I want to read two classics, which my goal is to be these two. Um, I want to finish Narnia. I want to reread Twilight and The Hunger Games. I want to read at least two Edgar Allan Poe stories from that book, which is why I'm like, I don't really want to include that with like my goal on my physical TBR to read all these because I know that I'm probably not going to get through that. <laughs> you know, I'll be lucky if I even do read the two stories. Um, I want to read one memoir. I'm not sure which one. I really want to read the Jeanette McCurdy memoir, but it's just, <laughs> I love those shows so much. So I feel like, and I still watch, you know, like iCarly and whatnot. So I feel like reading that is going to like, I don't know, ruin it. And I'm like really scared to see what she went through. But I know people love it. So I definitely want to give it a try maybe. And I want to read The Summer I Turned Pretty this summer because I've been wanting to read that for like the past two summers and I haven't. So I definitely want to get to that this year. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all that I have on my physical TBR and that's all the reading goals I have for this year. Um, not a lot, but just I ain't got time to make big 
goals like all these other booktubers do. Um, 50 books is already pushing it because like, my goal for 2023 was 30 and I only read 41. Like I went over so that's good but I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to hit 50 this year because I work and I have school so we'll see. I'm going to try. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!